What is going on everybody, Estas here, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to be doing an overall market update, taking a look at the Dow Jones, the S&P 500, and the NASDAQ. We're going to be doing a quick little trading update as well. What stocks am I personally trading? What stocks am I currently watching? As well as talking about Disney stock today, guys. We saw an insane move in Disney today. We're going to be talking about their new streaming service very quickly quickly and if this in my personal opinion poses a threat to Netflix and Netflix stock in general. So before we do get into all of these different topics, all I ask from you guys out there watching is if you enjoy the content here, feel free to go down below and hit that like button. It really supports me and supports the channel in general. And if you're new to the channel, there are two links down below, one being the Discord group chat and the other one being the Facebook group. Both of those are 100% free of charge and I guarantee you guys will find a ton of value in there. So let's just run through the overall markets very quickly, starting off with the S&P 500, the 500 largest publicly traded U.S. Company. So at the time that I'm recording this video, we do have about 15 minutes left in the market. And we can see actually the SPX right now is up almost $18, up about 0.61. So very solid green day today. And for those of you guys that have been paying attention, we actually had a massive gap up today. And from that gap up, I believe we were up about 22 points at that point. We really haven't been pushing higher from there. We've pretty much just been consolidating and holding these levels from that gap up. But we did drop a bit from here. You know, we dropped about 10 points. But other than that, you know, we've been holding this general area of about 20 2900 to 2910 pretty much the entire day today right let's go over here to the Dow Jones very quickly this one's doing exceptionally well today mostly because of the massive move we saw in Disney stock this one's up nearly one point uh one percent up about 250 points here with about 14 minutes left um today in the market and again absolutely insane day so far today for Disney and you know the Dow Jones and the Nasdaq is up about 0.4 percent the uh, least green out of the bunch but still a pretty solid green day today we're finally breaking out of that resistance at about 76.30 we're up about 30 dollars right now up nearly 30 dollars with about 14 minutes left in the market so let's hop back over here to the SPX very quickly let's talk about some technical points it's seems like today guys with this big gap up we push to yet again another higher high and in yesterday's video remember what I was saying guys remember I was saying that right now we're coming into earnings season right a lot of the big name companies are reporting their earnings and this is going to be a point in time where the market is really going to either pop to the upside or pop to the downside and I was saying this because we were in a point in time where we were consolidating over the past really four, five, six days. We can see that right here. And it was setting up for, again, either a pop or a push to the downside. And we can see today, although not many companies reported earnings, just the banks, uh, you know, JP Morgan, Wells Fargo, we saw that and talked about those in yesterday's video. We still got a pop to the upside here. And it seems like we're testing that 2905 level uh, to the 29 uh, 10 level here of resistance, which was a, I believe it was a support, right? Yeah, it was a support from back in towards the end of September in 2018. So that is the level we are currently at right now. We popped above that level a bit earlier in the morning with that gap up, but since then we're dropping down more towards that level of support and just really maintaining that level. So for this upcoming week, guys, again, today's Friday, the market's going to be open on Monday again obviously we're going to be looking are we going to be trading maybe between the 2905 level to the 2915 level are we going to break out of that 2915 level and test all-time highs this is what I'm going to be watching 
for this upcoming week. And guys, we're about 35 points away from all-time highs, uh, all highs right now in the SPX, which is mind-blowing. It's crazy to think that, so or to see that, rather. So the Dow Jones, again, very solid day today. It seems like we're testing that resistance from a couple of days ago at 2600 or 26000 rather, $400, right? We saw the rejection there which was a previous support from back towards the end of September in 2018. We got the rejection there at 26400 on the Dow Jones. We sold down. We broke the $26,200 level of support. We ended up testing the $26,100 level yesterday. And with today's pop, we broke out of the $26,200 level of resistance. And now we're trending right below this level yet again, guys. So for this week... Our, our next week, rather, what are we going to be seeing? Are we going to see a break out of $26,400, the resistance we are right now? And if we do see that, we're going to be trading between that level as a new support at $26,400 and the next resistance, which is at about $26,800. And guys, we're almost there again in the Dow Jones, you know, at all-time highs. We're very, very close right now. We're about 600 points off from that near 27,000 all-time high that we saw back in the beginning towards the end of September uh, and beginning of October in 2018. So keep an eye on those levels, very important levels for this upcoming week. And the NASDAQ, again, like I mentioned a couple of minutes ago, we ended up breaking that resistance at about 70. 630 that we saw here and we're actually getting a confirmation that we're holding that level as a new support right we see the breakup got rejected a little bit by that resistance um, from the other day at about 76.50 and now we're pulling back but we see the green candlestick forming above that level of the old resistance which is now a new support which is a good sign that it wants to hold that level as a new support so not much to honestly say um, in terms of the NASDAQ but we're just extremely close right now guys I think the NASDAQ's actually the closest of the bunch to these all-time highs we're literally about a percent off at this point, which is really just one strong green day away from us getting to those all-time highs. So for this upcoming week, make sure and just keep an eye on this level of support. Are we going to maintain that level as well as the 50 simple moving average level of support? Let's say we break these levels. The next spot I'm going to be looking at is going to be around $7,500, $7,525, which is the next support if we were to break these levels, right? So that's what I'm looking at in terms of the NASDAQ. Again, not too much to talk about really. It's just having a slight green day here. We're pushing up, which is a good sign that the market does want to see those all-time highs and it does want to test those all-time highs. So that's really the market update today, guys. Again, not, nothing crazy, but nonetheless, it was a uh, uh, pretty solid, solid green day, especially in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. So let's talk about a quick trading update. To be honest, guys, you know, these past couple of days with my trading, it's been a bit quiet, right? I haven't been making too many moves. You know that I'm in NVIDIA and AMD, and both of those stocks you know, they haven't been doing much, right? You know, AMD is up a little bit. You know, NVIDIA dropped a little bit today. You know, they're both just hovering around where I ended up buying them. And I'm really just flat on the positions, to be quite frank with you all. So I don't really feel the need to go through those positions. But for all you that don't uh, know or didn't watch my video yesterday or the three stocks I'm swing trading in April video, the gist of it is I'm holding AMD right now due to what maintaining the 50 simple moving average here on the 184 hour chart and I do want to see it maintain the $28 level as a new support it seems like or it seemed like this morning that we were going to hold those levels but we briefly popped up to I believe $28.38 at the open and from there we just sold off right we didn't maintain that level I was hoping we were going to maintain 28 and pop up a little bit at that point I would have added more money but we just didn't get that today right so I'm just holding my initial position you know over the weekend and uh, you know that's what I'm doing in terms of AMD 
and NVIDIA stock, guys, you know, a lot of the same, right? It, it popped down a little bit, and really, we're just maintaining that level of support at 188, 189, and we're also maintaining the 50 simple moving average support here on the 184-hour chart, which gives me confidence here to just hold these shares, you know, over the weekend. Again, I'm in with a very small position right now, and if we do maybe open up red, you know, on Monday down two, 3%, whatever, I'd probably cut losses there. But the thing is, I'm not going to be losing as much money as I would have been losing if I went in with 100% of my goal position right off the bat, right? Which is why I always, you know, talk about in these videos, scaling into your swing trades, especially your swing trades, you know, in the stock market, right? But one new position I ended up adding today to my swing uh, portfolio, ended up being Apple. We saw a pretty decent dip today on Apple down to about 196 and I ended up buying a bit of shares here at about 197.30 as we found the bottom and started to reverse on this little V pattern here, right? We sold off aggressively. We got some news on analysts, I believe, actually downgrading Apple um, due to the uh, their uh, earnings for the iPhone expected to be weak again this quarter. But, you know, I just viewed this as a short term term, you know, buying opportunity for a short, short term swing. And the technicals are supporting, you know, that decision, right? We ended up bouncing and I'm up nearly a dollar per share, you know, on that position right now. And I'm scaling into it. And another reason why I like Apple is because we're really maintaining that level of resistance, uh, you know, the old resistance, which is now a new support at around 196. And we're also maintaining the 50 simple moving average support here as well. So if we do end up popping back up into the 200s, you know, that's going to be a level where I would want to sell the shares. But as of now, again, I'm in with a small position with the goal of swinging this, uh, you know, these shares into the $200 level. So let's just talk about Disney very quickly, guys. Ticker symbol DIS. This stock went absolutely parabolic today, guys. We were up 10% pre-market hours or 8% or something like that. We ended up scaling all the way up to 12%. And right now, you know, it's looking to close the day, you know, up nearly 12%, up $13. This was the biggest move in Disney, I believe, in a 10-year span. And I do have an article here that I want to pull up that really talks about Disney and Netflix and comparing the two with some analysts' opinions. Then I'm going to give you guys my personal opinion. So let's see. Disney shares are surging, but some analysts are not sold on on the streaming service. So Disney on Thursday announced its much anticipated streaming platform. This is something that, you know, we've been anticipating ourselves over the past couple of months. This isn't really news to us. So however, some analysts covering the streaming space are doubtful of Disney's ability to disrupt, um, you know, Netflix dominant position. We do not view Disney as a strong alternative to Netflix, says SunTrust Tech analyst Matthew Thornton. Bottom line, Disney Plus features family content, while Netflix offers a much broader range of content with the majority of the most searched content on the platform. And this is something that I have to agree with, guys. I've done my research on the Disney platform. I know myself that it is mostly a family friendly, um, you know, space. So there might not be a lot of those, you know, action thriller movies, you know, gory movies that a lot of people, you know, like to watch, which are on Netflix, which really can deter people from going to Disney and really stick to Netflix, right? So this is something that, you know, really could keep people on the Netflix platform. We still do not view it as a major threat to Netflix subscriber numbers given Netflix's quality and quantity of content, along with the global secular shift towards streaming, says JP Morgan analyst. So, you know, really, we see here, you know, shares of Disney are on track to hit 10 year high. Okay, okay. But the main thing is that Netflix already has a solid brand name, they have a crap ton of content. So, for Disney to really make a dent in to this market, they really have to start funneling a lot, a lot, a lot of content, original content, and really just build the brand name for themselves, right? Because let's be honest, guys, Netflix 
has no competitors right now, uh, you know, except for Disney and maybe uh, Apple here in a couple of months once their service comes out. But let's be real. Hulu was once a competitor maybe a couple of years ago, but they're squashed, guys. No one watches Hulu at this point. You know, it's all Netflix. And really, just Disney needs to make a dent into this. And that's what they're honestly trying to do, right? The media giant on Thursday announced its much anticipated streaming service. Okay, we already talked about that. You know, a lot of the things that Bob Iger was saying, which is the CEO of Disney, he was saying that Disney's brand itself should bring a lot of new customers to the platform, which I guess it's a pretty good argument because Disney does have an insane brand and a brand name, and the brand name itself could bring customers to the platform, especially those that have you know younger kids, especially since it's going to be a family-friendly service. You can see what types of content they're uh, you know uh, what's it called marketing here. You see some Disney, some animated like Frozen, you know uh, toys, uh, Toy Story. You know, this was actually one of my favorite movies as a kid, fun fact. And, you know, this is going to bring a lot of younger kids to this platform. So Disney stock surged 12%, best day since 2009. Actually, Netflix fell as well. Again, however, some analysts are covering the streaming space are doubtful of Disney Plus' ability to disrupt Netflix's dominant position. Okay, we talked about that already. And, okay, let's see some other stuff here. JP Morgan's Disney analyst said doesn't post a threat to Netflix. While we expect Disney Plus will likely be the most competitive streaming uh, streaming offering to Netflix, we do not view that as a, a, a big competitor to the subscriber numbers. Disney is entering an increasingly competitive streaming war with rivals Netflix, Hulu, which I don't really think is a big, big competitor here. Amazon fighting for the market share, while various media companies such as Apple and NBC jumping on the streaming bandwagon. There goes the market. Disney expects to ramp up its original content from one billion to two billion from 2020 to 2024, guys. So the thing here, the bottom line is a lot of businesses want the piece of the pie, right? Netflix has really almost a monopoly at this point, right? Streaming is the future. People are cutting cables, which are cable services, which is why, you know, Disney's coming in, Apple, you see Amazon, you know, Hulu, even YouTube starting to make some original content. All of these companies want a piece of the pie and Netflix has most of that pie. It's just who is going to take most of that pie from them. So is Netflix dead, right? Is Disney going to overtake Netflix? It's going to take a little bit of time here, guys. Nothing happens overnight, but in the next year or two with Apple coming in, my personal opinion is that yes, this does pose a pretty big threat against Netflix, but Netflix is pouring a ton of money. They're burning a ton of cash now, you know, into their originals. They've built a brand already, a pretty strong brand name, you know, of Netflix, you know, Netflix and chill, you know, all that different stuff. So it's going to be difficult, but I'm sure excited. I'm very, very excited to see what ends up happening. And let me know in the comments down below, what do you guys think? Is Disney going to overrule Netflix? Is Apple going to come in and really overthrow Disney and Netflix? Is Netflix going to remain king here in the next couple of years? Oh, and another thing I want to mention is that Disney, their service is actually going to be cheaper than Netflix. I believe it's like $7.99 or $6.99 a month or something like that. So that could be another um, factor that people consider that it's really half of the price of what Netflix is right now. So again, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this. So on, on Sundays, guys, I want to mention this here right now. On Sundays, I talk about 10 to 15 stocks that I'm looking at, and I actually take suggestions from you guys out there watching these videos. So if you want me to talk about any stocks in particular on Sunday for the next week, drop a comment down below right now on this video or go to the call out section in our Discord group chat and drop the ticker symbol in there and I'll talk about the stocks or ETFs if I see potential in them in the next video as well as a bunch that I'm personally watching as well for the upcoming week. So I'm going to end off the video here, guys. You know, stocks I'm watching next week, if you want to see more of those, again, subscribe to the channel and watch the video on Sunday because that's where I'm going to be talking about all of those. So if you enjoyed the video, again, 
feel free to hit that like button. It really supports me and supports the channel in general. If you're new to the channel, again, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell while you're at it so you're notified every time that I do make a video. And drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think about Disney, Netflix, Apple, streaming, all of these different things going on. I would love to hear your opinion. I appreciate all of you guys watching, especially all you long-term viewers and you new-time viewers. It means a lot to me that you're watching these videos on the daily basis. If you are watching on the daily basis, it means a lot, guys. I'll catch you all in the next video. Enjoy your weekend. I hope you all crushed it today. Peace out.